Welcome back, everybody. We're back together with another video. Obi-Wan season two. Well, maybe just maybe it may be happening, but uh, I'm not real sure. Um, I was not a fan of uh, Obi-Wan season one. How in the world can a uh, Lucasfilm actually mess up an Obi-Wan Kenobi TV show? Somebody explain that to me. I was actually more disappointed with the Obi-Wan show than the Acolyte. Why? I don't care about the characters in Acolyte, but when it comes to Obi-Wan, Vader, Anakin, I care about those characters just like a whole bunch of other people. The classic characters. Mm -hmm. And they ruined it. Now, Ewan McGregor, um, I guess this really isn't a surprise. He definitely wants uh, more Obi-Wan. He was an executive producer on the show. And now he's actually saying that, hey, they're kind of exploring an Obi-Wan season two. What's really out there? Well, I will say this. If there is going to be an Obi-Wan season two. No Reva. They cannot have Reva in this show. First of all, Reva should have been dead, by the way. Several times. Do you want to see an Obi-Wan season two? In a way, yes. The character is popular. Yeah, it and is. And he played Obi-Wan really, really good. Yeah, and this is the role that most people actually know Ewan McGregor for is Obi-Wan from the prequels. Yes, and I mean, I wouldn't mind to see him, how he survive during all those years before the new hope well we kind of got an idea he was just um living in a he was just being a quitter and buried his lightsaber remember in the show yeah but i guess if there's season two there will be more interesting about obi-wan yeah because this show had t taken place like 10 years before a New Hope. And apparently he had never actually um, met Luke face to face either. Mm -hmm. He was looking um, looking over him from afar. And then remember at the end of uh, the last episode, he was like, hello there. He finally gets to meet uh, Luke. Um, I was actually hoping for more Luke and Obi-Wan in season one. That didn't happen. <laughs> By the way, Luke only had like one line in the whole show. Yes. You know, in season two, the thing that real mess up is Obi Wan or meets Princess Leia. Yeah, shouldn't have happened at all. So major mistake. Yes. So I was hoping season two maybe they wipe out the memory or something like that. How are you gonna wipe out a memory? I mean, they're humans. That that's not gonna happen. You can't wipe out. No, um, maybe memories. some Jedi stuff. Well, well, a Jedi can't mind wipe anybody except for yeah. droids. Now, if you're gonna use the uh, Jedi mind trick, that's not gonna work on Leia. She's a Skywalker. She has uh, Jedi capabilities. Not gonna work. No, because um. In the book that I'm reading, Doc Bane, not Doc Bane, sorry, Doc Raven. Yeah, Doc Raven. Yes. In the book, his memory was kind of wiped out by the Jedi Order because he did something bad. He went to the dark side, but then he turned back. Hmm. I don't know. I haven't read something the book, like though. Something like that. But that, that, they're not going to do something like that. It's not going to work. And if they actually did that, that'll be kind of cheap. If they some kind of way wipe Leia's memory, that would be pretty dumb. Yeah, but how would that go in season two? Where would they actually go? That's a good question. I mean, they were actually going to make um, a trilogy. And I believe that um, I think that um, could be wrong about this. Darth Maul was going to be the villain. Mm -hmm. I could have been wrong, wrong about that. But obviously they can't uh, bring in Darth Maul because we know that uh, Darth Maul actually gets killed by Obi-Wan on Tatooine from um, Rebels. 
So that was the first time they had seen each other uh, since uh, the Clone Wars. So where would they actually go with a villain? Are they get? I'm pretty sure they're going to try to make another meeting with Vader and uh, Obi Wan, and I really don't want to see that. They shouldn't have been fighting in the first place. So you think season one there should be another villain? I don't know how, what they're going to do. Really, I don't know how they're going to do it. Or I'm pretty sure Vader's going to be around. But knowing uh, Lucasfilm, they're going to try to use a cheap trick and probably have Obi-Wan and Anakin slash Vader fight again. And it's going to really, really uh, derail what happens in New Hope. Obviously, you know, they don't care about canon. So I wouldn't be surprised they did that again. Yeah. I just hope if they have season two, they will maybe talk about Obi-Wan life story before he become a Jedi or like something flashbacks. like flashbacks? Yeah, flashback maybe. When he was a Padawan? I highly doubt they would actually do that. I think that would def- definitely be like, um, that would probably be better served as like um, maybe a young Obi-Wan movie or um, something like that. I don't think that's going to work at all. Now that we know that Qui-Gon is there, Qui-Gon is back as a force ghost. He shouldn't be a force ghost, by the way. Uh, George Lucas is pretty pretty clear that um, that he couldn't uh, become a force ghost because he didn't complete his training before he died. But Disney did his own thing anyway. I want to see Yoda actually training Obi-Wan on how to become a force ghost. Remember, at the end of Revenge of the Sith, he actually told Obi-Wan, Train a half of you on uh, tattooing. Mm-hmm. So I want to see Yoda. They didn't put Yoda in the show. They tease Yoda at the end of, um, you know, the acolyte. But I don't know what direction they're actually going to go in. I don't think he really gives us any hints per se. Um, he does say this here, obviously, between the end of the Obi-Wan Kenobi series and when Alec Guinness is Obi-Wan Kenobi, there's got to be another uh, few stories in there. Um, McGregor um, said we're definitely hoping or, well, exploring that. I think I think that would be the word to say. I think I think they messed this up. They, they put I think would be the word to say. OK, so they said it right right there. So that that's pretty much it. So. But Disney Plus really has um, been failing for the most part. Maybe they actually want to make a Obi-Wan Kenobi movie finally. You know, they pulled the Mandalorian off of uh, Disney Plus now. It's going to be a um, a movie now. Yeah. I think Obi-Wan Kenobi would be better served as a movie. But, man, after that show, they've done a whole bunch of damage. It was a mess. It's not as bad as the Acolyte. Let's be clear about that. Yes. But I would still like to see season two or Obi-Wan movie talking about how he become a Jedi. Yeah, but that's more of an origin movie. But in order for it to follow up on season one of Obi-Wan, that's not going to work. No, it won't. It won't work. I don't know how to, where they're going to go with um, season two. I mean, could it be more of a, see, it's not really a Darth Vader show. I would like to see something about Darth Vader in the early years, though, of him in a suit. What was he going through? How was he actually helping the um, the Empire hunt down the Jedi? that will be interesting, but they'll mess that up, too. True. Well, in season one, Darth Vader know Obi-Wan is alive. They were well, fighting. He, he knows now. Yes. He knows now. He shouldn't have known that Obi-Wan was still alive because in A New Hope, he says, I sense something, uh, a, f- um, a sense that I haven't felt since, implying Mustafar. Yep. So Obi-Wan should be hiding from Doc Vader. Yeah, he's he's in hiding and he's supposed to be waiting for Luke. But uh, now Doc Vader age. knows him. Yeah. So... Yeah. It's just completely different. Yeah. Yeah. So there you have it, guys, man. You and McGregor talking about that, looking into Obi-Wan season two. 
I have a feeling they're going to find some way to mess it up, though. Do you think it would be better if they make if they don't make season two and the Clone War live action that they has been talking about? Or I heard something about Anakin? that. I heard something about that. I love the Clone Wars cartoon series. That's perfect the way it is. I don't want to see a live action. I really don't. There's enough already there with um, six seasons of Clone Wars already. So I don't want to see a live action Clone Wars at all. So going to leave right there, guys. We'll be back tomorrow with another video. Till then, be safe. Goodbye.